Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 15 in this series and is entitled Public, Private, and Static Methods in Java. A static method belongs to a class and not to an object. It means that we don't need objects to use static methods. To use them, we can simply call them from the class name. On the other hand, a non-static method needs an object to be called. Let's look at JOptionPaneClass. One of the methods of JOptionPane is show input dialog. Look at how we called it. The name of the class, the dot, and the method name. Now let's look at scanner class. One of its methods is the next line. Look at how we called it. An object named input has been created and the object name plus dot plus the method name was used to call the method. See the difference? This means that the show input dialog box is a static method, while the method next line is a non-static method. Sorry for my voice. The temperature is falling down here in Saudi Arabia and my body is still adjusting. So let's look at our first activity. We're going to the visit shape parameter parameters class and we will make all methods static. Okay, so let's go to the my methods class and make all these three methods static. And let's go back to shape parameter class. Now you can see that there are errors uh, that we are trying to access a static method. But before we correct the errors, uh, let's first type in the blank line above the name of the object and a dot. Now we cannot see anymore the perimeter, the three perimeter methods. Let's try the name of the class, my methods, and then dot. Now we can see the three methods. So this means that these methods are now static because they are owned by the class and not the object. I hope you can see the difference. So to be able to work on with the static methods, we have to change the name of the object to the name of the class. Presto. That's it. To differentiate public and private methods, uh, we can say that public method is something that can be seen to all other classes anywhere, while a private method is a method that can be seen only to its own class. Uh, in our example, there is no word public or private written in our methods, so the default modifier is package private. This means that the method is visible only to its own package. Okay, at this time, we will revisit the shape parameters class again and change the two non-void methods to private and see what happens when we call the methods in my methods class. So by default, all our three methods right now have a modifier of package private, which means that the methods can be seen in the package only. Now let's make the two non-void methods private. The first and the second. Okay. Now let's see what happens with the shape parameters class. Okay, you can see that there are errors. Okay, let's try to type the my methods class name and a dot. So this time we cannot see the other two parameter methods because they have been declared as private. That's it. So before we end this uh, part, we'll try to make these methods usable again by making them all public. So we'll change this all to public, including the third one. So that when we go back to shape parameter class, okay, they are all recognizable again. So let's try to run it. Enter the side, 5. Enter the perimeter is 20. That's 4 times 5. Enter the length, 7. Enter the width, 2. So that's 7 times 2, 14. And 2 times 2, 4. 14 plus 4 is 18. Class. 
Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.